Hello everyone, a very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. This is your host Vaibhav. In our today's session of uh, J4S indicators explained, I will be explaining to you the use of a very interesting candle formation. The name is uh, 3 inside, up and uh, down. So we have this candle formation which can be utilized to look for the optimization of entry when you are not really sure about the trend but you want your entry to be formed in a such a manner that you will have the momentum on your side this is a formation i think is likely to work quite well but of course uh, a disclaimer is needed that uh, no formation including this formation is foolproof so you will always have the situation where things might go wrong but uh, we can uh, look at it from a probabilistic point of view and let's see how we can use this combination of three candles for defining an entry point which will have the momentum on its side whether you are looking for a bullish trade or bearish trade you can utilize this formation as this is a three candle inside uh, up for the bullish formation and three side three candles inside down for the bearish formation so let us now head to the j4x4 the newly released trading platform from the Microscopy bank asset this is the euro usd chart with the each candle period defined at hourly the formation is uh, simple first i will explain to you the example of three inside candles up so let me go to the example this is one instance where i am finding that we have this combination of three individual candles where we have the requirement in place so the first candle should have the bearish pattern its closing value needs to be sizably lower compared to the opening price so this body of the candle should be large enough to warrant attention and then after that the second candle should be within this uh, first candle so the closing and the opening price of this second candle needs to be within this uh, closing and the opening price of the prior candle at the same time the first candle should have been bearish whereas for the second candle the closing value needs to be above the opening price but as i said it should be contained within this larger body of the first candle then after that the second candle uh, sorry not second candle the third candle it should be picking up the momentum from the second candle and its closing value needs to be higher compared to the second candle's closing value as well as its closing value needs to be higher compared to the opening price so what we essentially look at is that we first uh, make sure that there has been enough of correction suppose if the momentum was bearish or if even it was simply the part of the corrective phase we are not really concerned with that we are looking to enter into the trade where we have the bearish move already in place and now the momentum seems to be shifting in our favor or we are going to trade only when we see the momentum on our side whether we are looking for the bullish trade then we will be looking for this candle formation where the momentum immediate momentum should be on the higher side the closing value needs to be on the higher side compared to the opening price so that is the whole logic of this formation first there is correction with the first candles closing value being sizably lower compared to the opening price then in the second candle there should be consolidation with the opening price and the closing price being contained within the larger body of the first candle with the closing value of the second candle being higher than the opening price then comes the third candle where the momentum picks up from the second candle and it uh, rises substantially enough to close on the higher side compared to the prior candles close as well as the opening price so it should have large enough body of the growth as well so that is uh, one formation here now this same formation can be utilized in a inverted fashion where we first uh, need the hourly candle or any candle prints first candle 
two should ha uh, two have closed on the higher side compared to the opening price and its uh, candle body should be large enough to warrant attention then as uh, was the case with the bullish formation so is the case with the bearish formation the closing and the opening price of the second candle needs to be contained within the opening and the closing price of the first candle at the same time the closing value of the second candle needs to be lower compared to the opening price of the first candle so we need the momentum to be now turning on the bearish side but it is not uh, that bearish it is uh, you can say simply ongoing consolidation with the uh, momentum yet to pick up as this uh, closing and opening price is uh, simply within the prior range of the prior candle then we need the momentum to pick up and in the third candle we need the closing closing value to be substantially lower compared to the opening price at the same time it should be lower compared to the closing value of the prior candle so here we need the momentum to be picking up it should be good enough for warranting the fresh attention and the subsequent initiation of the trade on the short sale trade uh, so, sorry the short sale side so for that we will be relying on this kind of formation so suppose if you look at these instances it uh, did continued for a while with the euro usd's uh, charting pattern remaining bearish for next couple of hours same thing can be seen here also in the very next hour we saw this sharp move happening which pushed the euro usd more than 100 pips up of course uh, this is a one odd example we can't really have this kind of move happening all the time here you can notice that the move was uh, quite shallow and uh, then it reversed course so if we go back in time and look for more instances of this kind of formation we will always find this example so here we had this uh, bearish turning from first rise then came this uh, decline but it didn't really go very far for a long long time it uh, remained from where it uh, started for these many hours and then eventually it dropped but here also the drop was not that substantial it was you can say around half a percentage point for the euro usd and in this instance the rise was significant enough it uh, went on to rise more than one percentage point so you can always find the examples where you will see the trades going right and also if you look closely enough and you find enough of instances of this formation you will also come across multiple instances where the formation doesn't really seem to work now in this instance it uh, rises first crosses above this immediate swing high then it uh, declines but the decline is uh, not that substantial it is less than one percentage point and in this case it is quite substantial so you have these instances where the formation seems to be holding quite well most of the time it seems to be working quite well uh, in a couple of occasions we see that the move doesn't really happen immediately it went, uh, it went into consolidation phase later on gradually the momentum picks up so this is uh, kind of expected and uh, as i said in my introductory remark also no formation is perfect and uh, with the with this formation three candle inside up we have the same thing it is not going to work all the time but it gets you on the right side of the momentum here in this instance also we have the momentum bearish and uh, it takes time it consolidates it uh, comes back to where it starts started and then eventually it uh, drops back again in this instance the gains on the lower side came in rather quickly so you will have this kind of formation giving you the buy as well as the sale trade here the spurt proved short lived but still it was uh, good enough or you can say not so good enough depending on your expectation all right here also the expectation was of large gain but it didn't really go much further and then it uh, reversed course so this is an interesting formation and it uh, seems to be getting us for the trade position in such a way that we have 
the higher probability of seeing next uh, subsequent candle at least the immediate uh, time frame candles to be in continuation of the trend as we try to get into the trade when the momentum seems to be picking up when we are looking for the buy trade the momentum is picking up from the bearish side so after correcting phase to the bullish side and when we are going for a sale trade the momentum seems to be picking up on the sale side after having rise run earlier so we take into consideration the prior reversing action and then again the resumption of the underlying trend you can even add other finding factors or you can say other confirming factors for trend and in conjunction with this formation of the candlestick you can try to go for the trades where you feel the optimization of the profit where the loss is rather limited and the risk is uh, very less compared to the reward which you can uh, possibly expect from this uh, trade going right so that is the whole logic of this formation and also the intent of my this session to make you familiar with a formation which is utilized by many of the market participants to optimize the entry and uh, go for the trades where the probability is uh, on our side so that's all from my side for today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write back to me in the feedback and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward for further coverage of the market developments do check out the deposcopy analytics page we are also available on the facebook you can reach out to us there too for trying out this newly released platform, the link has been included in the bio. So give it a try and let me know how it works out for you. That's all for my side. That's all from my side for today's session. I'll be back tomorrow with a new formation, new combination and many new things to talk about. So do come back. We'll have a fabulous time. See you tomorrow.